stress is killing your masculinity i was raised in a messed up way man i was raised in a really really messed up way i went from like a home with both parents marriage everything's going great to transition to no parents zero parents when i was like really a young mind struggling to understand reality you know what i'm saying so and after that i transitioned to a mother and a stepfather and it, it wasn't rosy it was not rosy at all it was the worst experience ever guys it was the brutal experience ever my stepfather was an alcoholic he was verbally physically abusive you name it it was man insane experience so it wasn't like a, just a moment of trauma it was episodes after episodes blows after blows delivered to my ego my self-belief my confidence and yo i didn't even know any better i thought it was normal i thought i was fine all i knew i was living in a world where it was extremely hard to understand which you know mistakes after mistakes you know self-doubt you know lack of confidence low self-esteem and to be quite honest with you man i always used to experience heavy duty anxiety i was always angry i remember man i punched a whole a huge hole on um at my room door i was so upset i just boom punched the door and my fist just went through the door I was angry. I was extremely mad because I was so confused and frustrated because I did not understand why my life was going so bad and what the hell did I do to deserve such a treatment. I was so confused, bro. It was madly insane. But the funny thing is, when I step outside, I was always calm, happy, and having a good time. I literally create my own world on the outside. It's the reason, you know, I could talk about women, I could talk about this, I could talk about business, I could talk about hustling, because my world was outside, and I was very happy when I'm outside, you know? But inside my home was a whole different story. It was extremely toxic, super, super toxic so guys i want to send a big shout out to all my subscribers for subscribing to the channel because i do appreciate your support and if you're into the channel please hit the subscribe button to be part of the journey guys stress is very important to understand because stress play a huge role in our lives and most of us we don't even understand what stress is all we know we're feeling some type of mood we're feeling some type of way and we act on it because we believe that they're actually real because we don't know no one ever explained to us what stress actually is or how to manage stress properly no one if you got that treatment, if your parents taught you stress management techniques, man, you're great. You're good. You know what I'm saying? But most people didn't have that experience. They didn't get that opportunity to learn about stress management. All you know, you're feeling frustrating. You're confused. You're making mistakes after mistakes. You don't understand yourself. You don't understand other people. Yo, you're mentally going nuts. So do you understand why stress is important to, you know, to grapple with, to understand exactly what it is for you to, you know, structure your life a little bit better, for you not to act on the stress field or for you to develop yourself? You see what I'm saying? Before we get started with stress, we have to understand emotion. What emotion actually is. Guys, when you think of emotion, think of emotion as an on and off switch button don't think of anything else pain and pleasure on and off switch button guys so when you experience pain or when you experience anxiety it's basically a signal to show that yo pay attention to this pay attention to that anything that threaten your environment anything that's threaten you or your mind yo you will experience pain anxiety uncomfortability so when it comes to pleasure well if anything desirable even when you look at food when you see a nice woman you like or something you automatically gonna feel the pleasure chemical you're gonna feel good it's the reason you want the thing it's the reason you want to approach the thing it's the it's the reason you want to be around whatever is making you feel good but if something making you feel bad you're gonna escape it's natural that's what emotion designed to do you know emotion doesn't care about like oh um your new car um money anything like that emotion doesn't care about how nice it was 
nothing like that the only thing emotion designed to do is to alert you with a dosage of pain and a dosage of pleasure if it's pleasurable or if it's desirable so do you get what i'm saying let's move back to stress so now you have acute stress and chronic stress what is acute stress acute stress basically means a quick shock into your system a quick anxiety into your system for you to pay attention to whatever it is it's what acute stress is it's in the system in every single animal on the planet you know if you're about to chase a dog or a uh, a wild animal or you throw a rock into like a, a pond full of fish or something you're gonna see the fish scattered around or you're gonna see the animal just running but when they reach somewhere where they feel safe they go back to normal no anxiety no heart rate up to the roof it's like nothing happened but for us human however it's a whole different ball game because we have our imagination and we live in the present we know that we are alive we know that we actually conscious of ourselves but the problem is we can think far into the future and we can think about the past which leave us in the middle you know analyzing our future analyzing our past which can give us a huge panic attack if we not doing well with ourselves or if we don't understand ourselves because we're thinking about our future how our future gonna be how we're gonna live how we want to live our lives are we gonna be on the street are we gonna be homeless or what's gonna happen are we gonna have a successful life we don't know but we can see in the future what's gonna happen and it create a huge panic attack and we go back on our past to like why you can't you know have a good present why your present moment not going well you see what i'm saying so it creates some sort of shock into our system all the time because we're thinking about our future we're thinking about our past and we're in the middle stressing ourselves what is stress again guys a shock into the system so can you imagine every single day you have a huge shock going on into your system to the point you don't even realize it you're not even aware of the shock going on into your system so do you see the problem we're facing as human beings compared to other animals where they just you know run to safety and get back to normal like nothing happened we can't do that because we can think far into the future you know what i'm saying so do you see why it's important to understand what stress actually is okay so we can say acute stress is actually important for our survival without it we wouldn't be alive we wouldn't pay attention to things we wouldn't be alert the problem we face is chronic stress what is chronic stress guys chronic stress basically means permanent stress you have something in the back of your mind bothering you criticizing you just you know hitting you with the shock every single day you know when you say to yourself like oh i'm stressed out man i need a drink or when you say oh i had a stressful week man i need to relax myself i don't feel like doing anything but relaxing my soul because i'm tired you know it's because you experiencing chronic stress something in the back of your mind dealing with you bothering you burning your energy left and right but you don't even know what it is because you're not aware of it okay so what create chronic stress it could be trauma you see how i explained the story in the beginning of the video about my childhood and everything i did not know <laughs> All my childhood trauma was going to impact my future, my present self. I did not know that. You know, you're not going to know that you experienced trauma. Your brain not going to tell you, yo, you're experiencing trauma. You, you're going to need some serious help. You're going to need to analyze yourself carefully. You're not going to know that because your brain not going to tell you that. All you know, you're going to keep on making mistakes after mistakes, and you're going to try to avoid um, those mistakes. You're going to try to run away from um, those mistakes. So you're going to put them in the back of your mind. You're going to ignore them. You're going to pretend that they don't exist and by doing that you're going to eventually forget about them but they still in the back of your mind dealing with you creating the shock left and right then you're no longer aware of them you just know you're feeling the shock all the things you put in the back of your mind they coming to you as a form of mood it's the reason you will say some people they have mood swings or whatever one day they feel good and one day they're super upset the next minute they're ready to explode it's because of mood swings, switches, 
you know it could be a, like something that just hits you in the back of your mind you're not aware of it it's not coming in a form of thoughts it's coming in a form of feeling you just know wow why do i feel this way i feel like shit today what the fuck just a minute ago i was excited about something just a minute ago i was feeling great and all of a sudden I, i'm feeling like shit what the hell is going on you have no idea the thing is how does it happen it happens because most of us program ourselves to forget about our problems instead of facing them you know most people rather distract themselves find a way to I, yo listen <laughs> i do know facing your problems facing your past can have a huge impact on on your soul on your ego self-esteem confident you name it everyone afraid to face their past everyone afraid to face their mistakes everyone afraid to face their reality you know why do you think people drink alcohol so much why do you think people watch tv so much why do you think people always aim or trying to find a way to escape their reality instead of facing them because they're afraid it yo man when you face your true self your reality you know your true self it's a huge blow to your self-esteem and it's gonna be painful super super painful you know it's the reason people run away but they don't understand when they put it in the back burner when they put it in the back of the mind when they try to avoid it it really not going away and it's the reason guys you cannot run away from your problems the more you trying to run the problem will be right over your shoulder just criticizing you so the best way to deal with it is to try to understand it and to face it to fix it because if you run away it's going to follow you because it's inside of your head right it's inside of your head it's not going to go anywhere believe me so the best way to deal with it is to face it or else it's going to put a huge blow to your self-esteem. Why do you think some guys, when women shit test them, they feel right on the spot because they quit to explode. They become irritated and all emotional and all, all sort of like explosive reaction because they don't know that they have problems in the back of their mind. You know, they don't know that they have unresolved conflict in the back of their mind that they should be dealing with. So therefore, because the woman trigger it, boom quick to explode quick to overreact acting all emotionally getting all getting all mad cannot control their emotion very well you know some guys become extremely paranoid they become extremely extremely paranoid and the funny thing is yo it's gonna show on your behavior it's gonna show on your facial expressions it's gonna show on a, your whole body that you're paranoid that you someone who carry like super super negative energy because like i said you have unresolved conflict in the back of your mind just hitting you with the shock anxiety you're not aware of it because it's coming in a form of mood self-doubt low self-esteem you feel like you don't understand yourself very well all you know your mood swing going left and right and every time you're trying to move forward it's like you're moving backward it can create a huge mental confusion it's like a cycle keep going every time you're trying to do something man it's like you're moving backward and it's when people usually experience heavy duty chronic stress to the point it leads to depression so do you understand why people become depressed you know it's a lack of mental understanding it's what it is you don't understand your decision you don't understand your evaluation and all you know you keep on making bad decision when you know you want to make the right decision low-key you want to make the right decision you can't tell me oh you just want to make the wrong decision all the time you want to make the right decision but you can't because you don't understand yourself you don't have some sort of self-identity you see what i'm saying if you knew who you were you would have been making like good decision like you know you know yourself you know what you're capable of so it gives you a, a sense of self accepting if you don't know how to handle stress you're gonna burn a lot of your energy and you're gonna feel envy jealousy you're just gonna be watching people just doing their thing just moving forward just you know moving up why are you like yo what the fuck how are they doing it I've been trying for the longest time, but I can't do it. What the hell is going on? What's holding me back? It's your past holding you back, you know? It's things you're trying to run away holding you back. 
so do you understand what i'm saying is the reason guys you have to understand chronic stress you have to face it and how do you face it let's find some solution how do you fix it first you have to discipline yourself it's going to be hard it's not going to be easy and most of the time you're going to feel like sitting down in the front of the tv watching your tv show you're going to feel like listening to music all the time you're going to feel like relaxing all the time because yo you know like i said the shock burn your energy every time you experience the shock like going back it's like cortisol going into your system back and forth just draining your energy so you're going to have to fight it to discipline yourself. It's a must, guys. You have to discipline yourself if you really want to understand who you are. No choice, no shortcut. I don't know no other way to say it, you know, because I know to some of you guys, you guys going to think like, oh, self-discipline is a waste of time, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's too difficult. And uh, it's like I'm restricting my emotion from living my good life. You know, I only have one life to live and I don't want to restrict it to like by disciplining myself all the time. I know I used to say that to myself before. I thought discipline was like probably just for old people or something like that. It's what I used to think, low key. But if you don't understand yourself, you let your emotion guide your decision all the time or you always aim to act on emotion. Not only are you going to be making the wrong decision, yo, it can lead you in a dark hole. To get out, going to be extremely 10 times harder, to be quite honest with you, 20 times harder. You know, so disciplining yourself should be number one. You have to discipline yourself. Learning to control your emotion should be number two. You have to learn to control your emotion. Taking care of yourself should be number three. You have to learn to take care of yourself. It's the reason I always say either you go to the gym, if you can afford a gym membership, run. Learn to run. Because when you start running or when you start taking care of yourself, you're going to have a sense of control over your emotion because emotion happen very fast once you get the feeling you quick to act on it because it's what guiding you basically so your consciousness shut down and you make the decision and later on when you get home you start thinking about it and you start regretting on it you know but when you take care of yourself you exercise you learn you start running it's going to give you that little time frame you know, that little edge for you to analyze, for you to think before you act on the emotion. So, guys, take care of your body and also take care of your mind. While you're taking care of your body, aim to understand who you are. Ask yourself questions and try to find answers. And you will find answers, to be quite honest with you. And learn to face the uncomfortability. Because the road not ever going to be easy, guys. And extremely hard, man. <laughs> super, super hard. But you have to face it. You have to face your fear. You have to face the unknown. You have to face your uncomfortability. You have no other choice if you really want to fix yourself, if you really want to become confident, if you want to become a man. Becoming a man is not easy, but like I always say, you are a combatant machine. Your mind designed to fight. So don't give up and start fighting. You will be fine. I guarantee you, you will be fine and you will see you becoming more confident and you're going to have some sort of self-belief. You're not going to be doubting yourself all the time. You're going to manage your stress a little bit better. You're not going to become chronically stressed. You know, even if you stressed out, you're going to understand why you stress out and you're going to fix it. But if you avoid it, if you're trying to run away from it, it's going to follow you, bro. It's definitely going to follow you and it's going to punish you while it's following you. Okay. So guys, get to work. Don't sleep on it. Take care of yourself. Don't forget to set goals. It's important to set goals because when you set goals, it gives you like a map. You know, as long you you dissect your goals into pieces and you start seeing progress, you're going to feel better about yourself and your mind will be at ease you're not going to be criticizing yourself all the time because you have a concrete goal in your heart you have a concrete goal in your mind that you actually want to, to achieve your belief system want to go there to achieve it because once you start to achieve your goal you're moving you know slowly 
slow progress is always better than no progress guys keep that in mind so as you start working on your goals you start to understand your goals and you start to make progress even if it's like really very very slow progress but at least you're making progress and you're going to feel way way better about yourself because it's going to give you a sense of purpose you know what i'm saying for being alive anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button for more great content if you have anything to say let it out in the comment section see you next time ciao